looking in my fridge and I realized I had so many zucchinis left over, so we're gonna make a couple of dishes made from zucchini. You can finally pre-order my book Joyful using the link in the description. I am so excited to share it with you all. It has everything from delicious plant-based recipes to education on how spices can heal your body, meditation tips, basically everything you need to make your life a little bit more joyful. So please go ahead and pre-order now and I cannot wait for you to have it. by the lovely AG1. I have actually been taking this supplement for a couple of years now and I really appreciate it because it's such an easy way to get all the vitamins and minerals that I need to really support my immunity. I've noticed that whenever I stop taking my supplements, I feel so much more tired and overall I really just don't feel my best. I've also noticed that when I'm consistent with my AG1, I have so much more energy during the day and it's packed with so much goodness. It's got really high quality ingredients and there's everything from pre and probiotics for your gut health, there's also adaptogenic herbs for your mood and your stress, and so many more vitamins and minerals that you need. I'm usually so bad at taking my supplements when I travel or remembering to take them with me and I love that AG1 has these little packets, these little packets to take with you when you travel to make sure that I just don't miss a day. And it's so easy, you can just pour it into some water or into a smoothie and I usually just take my time to drink it throughout the day. If you want to check them out, then you can go to drinkag1.com forward slash radhi and with your first purchase, you can receive a one year supply of their vitamin D3 and K2 and five of these lovely little travel bags. Honestly, there are so many dishes that you can make with zucchinis from soups to sauces to frittatas to sweet dishes. I'm gonna show you three right now, but I'm sure there'll be many other videos on this. First one we're gonna do, zucchini boats. It's basically like pizza in a zucchini um, that's baked and it's super fast and super yummy. So let's give it a go. Actually, I take that back. I don't know whether it's yummy because I'm not gonna lie, I haven't made it before, but we're gonna make it on screen now. You'll find out whether it's good or not and so will I. I'm gonna start off with two zucchinis, which will make four boats. You can adjust the recipe accordingly depending on how many people you're feeding. So I'm gonna give these a wash. Okay, give them a good, good scrub a dub dub These are little zucchinis because um, they're organic, but you know, depends where you get yours from. So I'm gonna literally cut them in half like this, cut this in half like this. There's your little boats. Hey. And then we're gonna scoop bits out. So I'm gonna grab a spoon and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little scoop a do. You don't need to waste the insides of this by the way. Either you can chop it up and kind of put it back into the sauce that you're gonna use or you can save it and you can throw it into a soup. I actually use zucchinis a lot um, whenever I'm trying to bulk up a dish but I want it to be more veggie forward rather than being too like carb or heavy. I grate it up, throw it into veggie dishes and it's got such a neutral flavor that you don't usually notice it. The only thing is, is it's quite a watery vegetable. You have to be mindful of that when you're adding it into things. So we've hollowed them out and now you basically have to fill it. So I've got some pizza sauce, I've got some veggies, I'm using some mushrooms, olives, and I also got some plant crumbles or like a plant sausage just for some protein. Uh, then we're gonna top it with some cheese and some breadcrumbs and that's it. Uh, then we just pop them in the oven. All of these recipes are actually pretty fast. They're gonna be good weekday meals for you. I'm gonna use a ready-made pizza sauce. You know what, it's all about the sauce when it comes to pizza. You could eat anything with a good pizza sauce and it will taste like pizza. This smells like pizza, yum. I'm gonna actually put in the leftover inside of the gooped out bit because why not? I'm gonna add in some of the olives, maybe like a tablespoon inside, meat crumbles and some shrooms. And then just gonna give it a mix. Hmm, that looks really good. So far so good. So I'm gonna put in some dried basil under B in my organized spice drawer. And I'm gonna put in some oregano as well because um, I feel like that is the actual flavor of like pizza, oregano on the top or oregano as the Americans call it. Oregano, some basilico. And then we're just gonna fill up the boats. It's actually a really nice like low carb option as well. If you're looking for something lighter to eat at night, but that still feels filling, I feel like this will be a really 
good dish for that. Fill it up as much as you can. The other thing you could do, actually, with this as well, is you could put, if you have ready cooked like risotto rice or something, you could always add in rice or beans, like make it Mexican style. There's so many different variety of this that you can make. So we've got that, stuff them. And now, you know what, I'm gonna put them onto the baking tray before I add everything else on. I'm gonna spray it with some oil. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, but only olive oil if it's like a high heat one. Otherwise it goes rancid when you heat it. And then I'm gonna top it off with some cheese. I have two different options. There's the Miyako's pourable one, which is really, really nice. I think I might go for the hard option. This is really good for pizzas. Let's use the traditional. A bit more basilical. I actually love making recipes that I've never made before on camera. It makes me so, like, it's exciting to see if it actually works. Okay, maybe just a little bit of like, you know, I like a bit of sprinkle. I'm gonna drizzle these. Um, I love me some chili. So I'm gonna drizzle these with a little bit of chili oil. Nice. And then a little smidge of salt. Oh, that's black pepper. And a little smidge of salt. <laughs> She looks really good and so cute. Oh, it was at the wrong temperature. We're gonna put it up to, what do you think? 400? Let's do 400. 395. <laughs> I think it's pretty much ready. It was already at 350. Oh my God, it's not hot yet. All I want you to do is warm up. Bada bing, bada boo. Got so many steps just to turn on a bloody oven. She hot and she ready. Uh, we're gonna put it, put it into the oven. Let's go. Ooh, these look yummy. Second recipe on the way. This one is a whole new ball game. I have made like brownies with sweet potato. I made them from black beans. I've also made zucchini muffins, but I've never made zucchini brownies. But today we're gonna try and we're gonna see what happens. So for this recipe we have, where's my tray of what I prepared earlier? It's on a pizza tray. So we're gonna be making it from oat flour. I made it gluten-free. You can actually sub it out with normal flour if you want to. I just find, because if they're with oat flour, you can feel like they could also be used for breakfast. That's my reasoning behind it. Baking soda, baking powder, baking soda. I got baking soda. And then, I don't know what this is. Oh yes, ground coffee. Oh my gosh. Yum. Like, coffee always has this smell, which is like somewhat nice, and then a background of manure. Don't you ever find that? Like, it has this, manure smell, yeah. Cocoa powder, maple syrup for sweetness. You can use, honestly, any liquid sweetener in here. You could probably use coconut sugar too. You might just have to adapt it with the quantity, so maybe stick with this. We've got almond butter, vanilla extract, and milk. And then, of course, our zucchinis. So we're gonna grate up the zucchini first. Baking is always a little bit more difficult than cooking because it's easy to change or like think of recipes that are savory because you don't need to be exact. With baking, you have to. So I've had quite a few fails when it comes to baking, thinking of like the quantities of things. But you know what? Failure teaches you so much. I still obviously haven't learned my lesson, but <laughs> I shall keep trying. So we're doing about, I think it's like a cup and a half of zucchini. I have such like old woman hands. Not that there's anything wrong with old woman hands. I love my grandma's hands, but I really do because I have to like cook with them. I wash my hands so often. That is the price you pay for being a woman in the kitchen or a man. <laughs> Nearly forgot about the chocolate chips. I actually didn't have chocolate chips, so I'm just using these gems. Who is literally my favorite chocolate because there's no refined sugars, really simple ingredients. It's almost like not even chocolate, just like fruit and stuff. So we're gonna add the dry to the wet. So we're gonna start off with the dry. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, 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 no way. One cup of oat flour. Usually they're a lot more expensive when you buy them in flour form. So honestly, you can just get regular oats, grind them up really fine and you can use that. You know what, I really appreciate sifting my flour. It creates more aeration in the flour, like more air, and so it makes it more fluffy. And I know we don't really need brownies to be fluffy, but oat flour is quite a heavy flour, so, so I like to do it. I kind of feel like zucchinis are like a forgotten vegetable. Like no one really talks about zucchini as highly as they do about like 
sweet potatoes or I don't know tomatoes or whatever like zucchini is just like in the background just there helping us in some way but just never highlighted so this is your moment zucchini <laughs> this is cocoa powder not cacao powder there is a difference c-o-c-o-a or c-a-o-a c-a-c-o-a <laughs> whatever cocoa powder I think my hair keeps tickling my face. How do you say it in New York? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> oh, the chocolate chips. Chop these up a little bit. Who would have thought you were a chocolate and zucchini on the same chopping board? <laughs> my hands again for the five thousand time. It's because I like to work with my hands. There's something special about like using your hands when you're cooking. It connects you more to it. Cool, so that's the dried, now we're gonna do the wet. So for the wet we have, let's put in the milk. Oh, you know one thing I found out is like when you um, heat up almond butter, it makes sense because it's got oils in it, but when you heat it up, it makes it more liquidy. So when you wanna like pour almond butter over something, you can heat up the almond butter and then it becomes really um, pourable. So yeah, there's no butter in these brownies and normally you have butter in brownies but that's because the fat is coming from the nut butter instead. Okay, now we're going to mix the dry with the wet. Let's mix this up a little bit first. Go, go, be free. Not imagine, this is what whenever I make brownies, the texture of the, um, the consistency usually is. It's like not enough to pour, but it's still gloopy. Like I say gloopy, not that that's a nice word, but it's a gloopy texture. Okay, cool. Really nice. I always see people do this. Apparently it takes the air out and like evens it all out. Let's check it. Oh yeah, fine. That looks yummy. Usually when there's cracks, it means that it should be done. Oh, that was the wrong part because it was the chocolatey part. Oh, that's pretty damn good, eh? Okay, I think we're good. That was at 30 minutes. Let's leave that to chill for a little bit. Next. Oh, a really easy pasta sauce. It's one of my favorite ones. There's something about having a super green, lean, fresh, herby sauce. And so this one is like a pesto with cashews in it. It's really creamy. You put roasted zucchini into it. Done in like literally 20 minutes. If you have the zucchini roasted already, throw it all in a blender and then you pick your pasta and bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to go. The worst part of cooking is the cleaning. We're gonna roast up the zucchini because the flavor of roasted zucchini compared to sauteed or steamed is just, it is just spectacular. So chop off the side. You don't need to be too precious about it, honestly. Slice it up like so, like that. I've got three mini ones here. And then honestly, we'll grab your tray. Shove it on. Two, three, four, five, six. Everything cooked in fat is better because it releases the flavor of it. It releases the juiciness of it. Even the nutritional value of things are released through cooking them in fat, so. Not too much, not too little, just right. We're gonna put these into the oven. Let them roast, I think for like 20-ish minutes um, until they go kind of golden brown and really soft and juicy and like a bit caramelized too. This one is the pasta sauce, so I'm doing, you can use really any herbs that you want in here. I love doing the basil, the mint. We're gonna add in spinach, the roasted zucchini, which is roasting in the oven. Let's just assemble it, go. All you need is a high-powered, incredible blender. And if you don't, then could like, I don't know. Oh, hand blender. The spinach. The mint. Basil. I am using cashews for this, but you can use pistachios. I have done so before, 
And honestly, it tastes really great. A little pistachio pesto, yum. Let's chuck them in here. Okay, squash it all in. And then we're gonna blend it up. So we made three recipes with zucchini and I think they went pretty well. I'm actually very happy with them. Let's take a taste, but also remember, you are never too busy to say a really quick prayer of gratitude, a quick or a long prayer of gratitude for every single person, every single thing that has allowed this food to come to your table. From the mere zucchini to God, to the farmer, to the person at the shop, all those things in between, uh, just thank them. Let's try this. It smelled amazing when we were blending it. Are you ready? Yum. 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 Honestly, they're yum. Mm. Next! Yum. 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 Oh, very good. Next! This one I was waiting for. Yum. Yum. Mmm! Mm mm. Oh, really good. Really, really good. I can see the zucchini, but I can't taste the zucchini. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Let me know what vegetable or ingredient you want to see next. See you next week.